Welcome back to a brand new video everyone. In today's video I want to discuss the future of King's Dominion and specifically which roller coaster model they could be receiving next. So stay tuned and we'll talk about several possibilities here. First things first, I got the chance to visit King's Dominion for the first time in June of 2019. And obviously, the whole mountain structure and all of the track of the former volcano, the blast coaster, had already been torn down. When I rode Avalanche, I could see from the top of the hill on that that there's a few supports and pieces of track from Volcano still sitting in that area, but surely those will be headed to the scrapyard as well. This ride is no more. This leads you to think immediately, what is going to replace this massive empty plot of land? Because based on what I saw, this is a pretty good size chunk of land that is just left sitting open with nothing. It's just completely vacant. And moreover, King's Dominion lost perhaps what was their most popular ride in Volcano the Blast Coaster. Even though the park decided to close Volcano early in 2019, that final decision might have been made at that point, but the park knew well ahead of this that this could likely be a possibility, and I'm sure they were thinking about this at least a year in advance. As we all know, Volcano operated for only a couple weeks or so at the beginning of the 2018 season, and then it closed down, and it never opened back up. It was basically closed for all of 2018, and there was a lot of uncertainty about it, and then we got the shocking announcement back in February of 2019 that it would officially be removed to many people's dismay. Moving on from Volcano, what can we expect with King's Dominion's next coaster? First of all, looking at the past at King's Dominion, they are in an interesting place because they've lost a lot of major coasters over the recent years, but haven't really received much of anything major. In fact, King's Dominion did not receive a coaster for eight years. They got Intimidator 305 in 2010, which was a huge investment, but then they didn't get any new coaster until 2018 when they converted the old Hurler into the RMC coaster now known as Twisted Timbers, which is an excellent addition by the way. But in addition to Hurler closing at the end of the 2015 season, they also lost another major coaster in 2015, which was Shockwave, their Togo stand-up coaster. And then of course, Volcano is now gone as well, with nothing replacing it, and nothing ever replaced Shockwave, so they've been losing a lot, and they haven't really received anything major in recent years besides Twisted Timbers. So what coaster model could potentially come to King's Dominion and take the place of Volcano? I have a few options here, actually quite a few options as a matter of fact. King's Dominion has, in my opinion, a pretty solid lineup of coasters already, but it definitely is not the most well-rounded, and there's a lot that they could potentially add to this park. With that in mind, let's start with one thing that I just want to sort of get out of the way. I'm going to start with some of the ones that I think are less likely. First of all, a B&M dive coaster. These have been really popular in recent years, especially with Cedar Fair. So one would think, okay, maybe they could add a B&M dive coaster. The only B&M coaster currently at King's Dominion is Dominator, after all, the floorless coaster. But I don't think a B&M dive coaster is coming to King's Dominion, and that is because Busch Gardens Williamsburg is less than an hour and a half down the road. And from what I've heard, King's Dominion has stated in the past that, that they do not want to add anything that Busch Gardens has in their lineup, apparently. And that makes sense. The parks are so close together, and they're competing it just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense especially when it comes to a dive coaster because they're all pretty similar really another option is a B&M inverted coaster this is kind of a weird one because Alpengeist is at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and while it is the same model it's a much older invert and the inverted models are more dynamic and are more diverse in their elements than say a dive coaster so they could definitely do something unique with this especially if they did a launched inverted coaster which would be awesome to sort of pay respect to Volcano and replace that spot of the inverted coaster. While I think an inverted coaster would be awesome for King's Dominion I don't think it's a very likely option just because 
because it is kind of weird to take out an inverted coaster and then replace it with an inverted coaster, even though they would be two very different rides. But you have to look at it from a business perspective and from the eyes of the general public and taking all that into consideration, I don't really think a B&M inverted coaster is going to happen either. One option that King's Dominion could go for is a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, maybe something along the lines of Hangtime at Knott's Berry Farm. In recent years, Cedar Fair has shown that they're willing to work with manufacturers that they've never worked with before, such as Mach, Gerslauer, RMC. Hangtime, which opened in 2018 at Knott's Berry Farm, was Cedar Fair's first Gerslauer coaster, and it seems to be doing pretty well. I think a Gerslauer Infinity coaster wouldn't be a bad addition to King's Dominion, but I just don't see it being a very likely option. I don't think it would add a lot to King's Dominion's lineup. Now, this could sort of be the spot of like the dive coaster, since it sort of is like a dive coaster, hang time is anyway how it has the holding brake at the top and it's been marketed as a dive coaster. So it could be like getting a dive coaster for King's Dominion while being completely different than Griffin right down the road. Gerschlauer Infinity is an interesting option. I don't think it's very likely for King's Dominion. I don't think it would do a whole lot for their lineup to be quite honest. Now from here on out, I'm going to talk about a few models that I think could be much more likely than the previous ones I mentioned. And to start off, I'm going to talk about a Mac multi-launch coaster. Copperhead Strike, which opened this year at Carowinds, has been a great success. And I believe that we will be seeing at least a couple more of these coming down the line in the Cedar Fair chain. I would be quite happy about that. I was a really big fan of Copperhead Strike. It has excellent theming and it's a great coaster that bridges the gap between family and thrill. It's still a very thrilling ride, but it's not too intense and everybody can enjoy it. It's just a really fun ride. King's Dominion does have a couple launch coasters already in the form of Flight of Fear and LSM Inverting Launch Coaster by Premier, which is over 20 years old at this point. And also there's Backlot Stunt Coaster, but that is very much a strictly family coaster. I think this would be a great success for King's Dominion. It could be marketed very well. These Mac multi-launches have proven time and time again to be very successful, and especially with the opening of Copperhead Strike. I believe we could be seeing more of these. And even though King's Dominion has a launched family coaster, this is definitely much more thrilling than something like Backlot, and it would feature a few inversions and the very comfortable lap bars, and it would just provide a whole new experience for the park. In addition to replacing an old launch coaster, and I'm sure it would pay tribute to Volcano in some way. Moving on, we have a B&M Wing Coaster. Now, I think a B&M Wing Coaster could actually be very likely for King's Dominion. We've only seen one of these so far in the Cedar Fair chain in the form of Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. And King's Dominion only has the one B&M Coaster up to this point, which is Dominator. I think they could really use another B&M in their lineup. It would help to round it out a little more. A wing coaster, I think, could be a great icon in the park. They're very nice looking rides and very well presented. I believe that the plot of land where Volcano sat could occupy a really good size wing coaster. And moreover, they could make it a launched wing coaster potentially, like Thunderbird at Holiday World, which is by and far the best wing coaster out there. It's an excellent ride. If they utilize the land where Volcano sat and made a larger scale launch wing coaster. I think that would be an amazing fit. It could be a new icon for that area, which is sorely lacking now. And overall, I think it would just help to round out King's Dominion's lineup really well. They do have a couple launch coasters already, but they would be very different from this, and this would be a great fit. The last option that I want to talk about for King's Dominion is a B&M Hyper Coaster. So if you look at all of the other Cedar Fair parks that have a Giga Coaster, namely Cedar Point, Carowinds, and Canada's Wonderland, they all also feature a Hyper Coaster. Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland have a B&M Giga and a B&M Hyper Coaster, while Cedar Point has an Intamin Giga and an Aerodynamics Hyper Coaster. It's really interesting that they added this wild, super intense Giga Coaster built by Intamin and never added any sort of hyper. It seems to be one of the missing spots in their lineup. And furthermore, if they added a B&M hyper, it could also serve as a alternative to 
Intimidator 305, which I think many guests find to be just too extreme. It never really has long lines at all. A lot of times it's just a walk-on. And it's such an intense ride that a lot of people just don't want to ride it over and over. A B&M Hyper would be a good alternative to that because they're not very intense rides, but they're still very large, thrilling, and attract a wide audience. So I think it'd be a great business move for King's Dominion to put something like a B&M Hyper in. I don't know how much they could fit into this land exactly, but I'm sure they could get creative and work something in there and come up with a pretty unique B&M Hyper layout that would really do good things for King's Dominion. And alternatively, as I mentioned earlier, Cedar Fair has been working with different manufacturers that they've never worked with before in recent years, including Mach. So instead of getting a Mach multi-launch coaster, they could maybe do a Mach Hyper coaster, something along the lines of DC Rivals, which would be absolutely incredible to see in the United States. So what do you guys think about all these options? What do you think King's Dominion is going to see as the next major coaster in their lineup? I believe that they could be receiving a new coaster within the next couple years, seeing as they've lost so many in recent years, especially losing Volcano, which was seemingly their most popular ride, and they really need something to bring more guests in. So what do you guys think? What do you think is the most likely option out of these? Or maybe there's something I missed that you guys think is more likely to come here? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for more content in the future. Like Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.